hi everyone welcome back to my channel non so analytics and today i'm going to talk about shape maps in power bi shape map is a visual used to compare regions on a map using color now basically what this map does is it helps you to distinguish between regions making use of color by coloring them differently right so it's still a preview feature as at now but it's quite good at presenting information in a way location information in a way that's easy to understand so to start with to start with here's a map visual i created showing you the ski resorts around the world you can filter down by the continent so here's a map a shape map um showing you the countries and the resorts in each country and then of course you have a slicer here which helps you to filter down based on particular regions say europe and you can be able to slice and dice based on that so i actually came across a shape map visual and i wanted to try it out with a new data set and i decided that that's what i'm going to talk about today and today i'm going to show you just how you can create something like this for your report so let's say you have location data and you want to go for a shape map right let me show you how you can create this easily in power bi let's get into it so first of all right i'm going to just create a new page and we're going to start figuring it out from scratch right so now we're on this blank page right so to get your shape map visual like i said it's a preview picture meaning you're not going to see it on your visualization pane if it's not already selected by you or activated by you in your options and settings now what do i mean if you come over to the visualization pane right you can see a shape map visual here and this is only because you need you have it activated so i'll go to your file so if you're just starting out you need to go to your file options and settings options and that's going to open up in a bit So you go to your preview features here yeah, where you can see preview features and then you see your shape map visual that's like the first thing on top so you need to tick this if this is not ticked, you need to enable it by ticking the box right so once that's done you're going to press ok and then you're going to get a prompt so it's telling you that you have to close power bi desktop and reopen it again so once you reopen it you're going to find your shape map visual in your visualization pane. so once that's done the first thing to do is we'll select this shape map visual so once that's selected i'll just make this a bit bold enough so we'll go over to add our location so i have this country so i think it's a very good feature where you make sure that you detect the data category so i went ahead to detect this you can easily do this in your let's let's show you that you can easily do this in your data category and just select the right so just do that so i'm going to select my country and i'll drag and drop to my locations field once that's done it's coming up well then i'm going to go ahead and select my color saturation so basically like i said a shape map visual is going to distinguish between regions making use of what making use of colors so it's using colors to distinguish so i'm going to use color to distinguish between the resort number of resorts right so i'm going to bring this resort which is like my measures and i'm going to place it in my color saturation so this is going to be a count measure so by count right so this is a visual right this is now your shape map visual but i want you to select this visual now and go over here to format it right go to your map settings now once you go here you see that it's using basically usa map type now this is like for a whole like this is like 
the country, the continent, the whole world. You want to edit this a bit so you can decide to use a custom map. So today we're going to be making use of a custom map. So basically, yeah, a custom map is you importing in your own map visuals and it must be in topo json format so t-o-p-o -O json format so you select your custom map and then you can browse it so i've downloaded one i'll put the link to where i got it from so you can download it as well so i'll just browse and go to my downloads and what country is json files and then i'm just going to like open that So once that's there now, you can see our map visual coming along wall. Now, this is where you see what you call projection. So if uh, you're taking some drawing classes, you might be hearing about projections, orthographic projections and the likes. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be selecting orthographic. So orthographic projection is basically going to give me like a 3d representation like a globe and that is what i want i think it's pretty cool and it will serve the purpose so this is it now so this is my visual so what i'm going to do now is um, i'm going to show you something real quick right so i want to be able to filter this based on the continent right so i'll select a slicer here perfect so i'll just select this slicer and then i'm going to drag and drop my continent easily so just your continent and place it on there so let's say i want to see for europe right i'll search europe and you see how this happens so search asia you see some asia countries being highlighted search europe you see some countries in the europe being highlighted as well so now i want to make this visual the in the interaction of this visual a bit different right so let's go over here to our format, our visual map settings again. And let me just change this, this zoom feature. I'm going to turn it on. So I'll show you what happens. So once you turn on your zoom feature, you see how that works already. So you select Europe and it's almost like it's tilting the um, globe visual for you. So you select Asia, you see how that works. You see the, how it glides like, so that is like, just to play around with the interaction of it right so now that that's done i'm going to just unselect this so it's without the filters for now and i want to create we have a goal in mind right we have this in mind this is what we want to create guys this is what we want to create so let me go ahead and let's get let's work with that so this is what we have right now here right so so you can let me just turn off this title let's go to general title turn it off right so basically this is how you create a shape map in power bi and you can see to our two tips you can see for each country the number of resources you have there okay so we have this visual now and i want to edit this i want to make some slight modifications to this right so first things first i'm going to go ahead and add in my shape right so let's start with going to our insert and shapes and i'm going to insert this curved or rounded rectangle and i'm just going to place this here this is just me trying to create a good looking report aesthetics and whatnot but if your report works for you that's fine uh, let me change the color saturation so it's light on the eyes so I'm going to pick this 57, let's pick 57, mm, doesn't matter, 57, let's pick 57, right, and I'm going to turn off the borders, and let's edit the shape, I don't want the curves to be too much, 6 is perfect, 
and next thing next i'm going to send this to the back so select this ratio format and send to the back or send back or send to the back now yes that's a start and okay let me make this small let's just make this small we'll come back to this next thing i want to do is i want to create an overall shape yeah so i want to create an overall shape actually two overall shapes right so i'll go to my insert as well shapes and let's get this overall shape right so once i get this i'm going to make this as big as i can i want it to look good though but we're going to make this as big as we can and I'm going to give it its overall shape so I'm going to come up to my sh um, my style right I'm going to change the color the fill color to one of these colors here let's say like this one and I'm going to work with my borders, increase the width to three or five, five, and we're going to increase that transparency to the same 57. So increasing the transparency to 57, right? And turning off this fill button. I don't want this fill. So transparency 57 okay I'm going to work with my shape visual what I want to do in my shape visual now which is selected by the way this visual I want to let's see I want to miss So I want to select this visual underneath. So I'll just go to my format selections and selections, right? And I'm going to select the shape map selections. Yeah, this is the shape map, right? So I want to edit this. So I want to turn the transparency yes so that's what I want to do I want the transparency gone so that's gone and then I'm going to create something different so ctrl C ctrl V I'm creating another of this right but it's going to be different right because I want a few and I do not want borders and I want my few to be just color white just any of this and transparency that's fine for now so I'm just going to move this this I'm going to move this away select this and move this inwards right so I'm going to modify this a bit and just make it fit in so you can make this better and just basically play around with it and I'm going to bring this back in and place this somewhere around here and I think this so I'm going to send this to the back right format and send to the back right 
so I should have my map ratio on top of this. I don't think this. I want to change this. I want to make this as transparent as possible. It's better if it's light. So I'm just I'm changing this. It's not giving. So let's walk around with this as well. So the border color I want to make it lighter. This color is not light, it's dark. I want this. Yes. So I want something like this basically. So this is just a basic slicer here yeah? if you want to format that you can also format that by going to your general settings effects and let's give it a border let's give it some rounded borders so let's select the same color white let's just give it some edges <laughs> almost like you're giving the edges like so basically, I think we did a good job trying to recreate that. You can filter by Europe, but you can see it's going to come out slightly. So you still need to work around that. No, not this. You still need to work around that. So basically, based on certain regions, you need to edit that. So yeah you can walk around and play around with it and that's how you create a shape map in power bi if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and share it to anyone who you think will find this helpful and yeah i'll see you in the next one